What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have another WWE action figure set up for you guys and it is Money in the Bank Edition. So as you guys know, Money in the Bank 2019 is on Sunday. I'm very, very excited for it. Guys, you know, Money in the Bank is my favorite pay-per-view outside of the Royal Rumble. I put it at number two. I just love the Money in the Bank situation, the cash-in opportunity, and all of that jazz. I'm super excited for it. We got a fantasy matchup in Seth Rollins versus AJ Styles, and a lot more ish going down at this show, man. 11 freaking matches on this show. I can't believe that, but uh, let's go ahead and go through the setup, guys. I not only have the backstage area, but I have the ring set up with the Money in the Bank ladder match going on, so... We're going to cover the backstage first, and then we'll go to the ring for the Money in the Bank ladder match. But let's start off in the corner. All right, guys, so starting things off in the corner, we got a couple of injuries right here. We have Rey Mysterio and The Miz hanging out in the, I guess, the medical area. And the reason they are is because Samoa Joe effed up Rey Mysterio in the United States Championship match. I think that Samoa Joe will retain his U.S. title. I hope he does. I think that it would be really good for his character. And, you know, Rey Mysterio really hasn't done anything since coming to WWE anyway, so why even have him beat Joe here? There's no point to it, and it wouldn't matter. So The Miz is also here because, you know, he had that steel cage match with the with Shane McMahon. I think they're both going to get beat up. Um, I doubt there's any blood because, you know, we don't get any blood anymore nowadays. But The Miz is beat up from that matchup. You'll see Shane McMahon later on in this setup and you will see, uh, you know, why The Miz is over here because both of them beat the hell out of each other. So that is it for this portion. Moving over here, guys, we have the new SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions, Eric Rowan and Daniel Bryan. They're just hanging out after retaining their SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships versus the Usos. And I think they're going to win because, you know, they just got the championships and apparently the Usos are still on Raw, you know, because they came over in the Superstar Shakeup and now they're doing the Wild Card Rule. And it's just a bunch of weird BS bullcrap that WWE and Vince McMahon's trying to pull. So I really don't know what, what's going on with that, but that is why I think these two are definitely going to win. Win the uh, retain their SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. If we come to the middle, guys, you will see Samoan Joseph. Samoan Joseph walking down the hallway after retaining his U.S. title. He's got his towel on, about to shower up after defeating Rey Mysterio. I thought that I always like the way the Samoa Joe looks walking around. He just looks so bad, eh? So I wanted to put him here. Over on this side, guys, we have Charlotte after she has won the SmackDown Live Women's Championship again for the 116th time in her career. And the reason I did this is because I th I think that Becky Lynch is going to drop the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I just think that that would probably be the best, you know, uh, have her stay over on Raw with Seth Rollins and all that good jazz and have Lacey Evans be defeated and then you could uh, split the two belts up again like it was before Mania and have Charlotte with her SmackDown Live Women's Championship over on SmackDown. If we go to the middle guys you will see if we come to the middle Brett what are you stupid idiot moron this isn't the middle we have the Usos, and they're just talking each other up. Jimmy trying to help Jay up after, you know, uh, they lost their rematch for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship. So Jimmy and Jay Uso hanging out over here after getting defeated. Right here, we have the phenomenal AJ Styles getting ready for his really big main event match with AJ, uh, with Seth Rollins. That matchup is totally a fantasy match, guys. I cannot wait for this. I, I hope that it lives up to the hype. I hope they give these guys time, and they allow them to do what they need to do. I cannot wait for this match. So he's getting repped and prepped and ready for this matchup up getting all stretched and warmed up. If we come to the middle now, guys, you will see Shane McMahon and Roman Reigns. You know, Roman Reigns saying this is what you get, Brad, because, you know, Shane McMahon's been causing hell for Roman Reigns, so you see the, the medical guys here wheeling Shane McMahon off after that steel cage match with The Miz. Maybe Roman Reigns interferes in the matchup. Who knows? But I definitely think that, you know, he's definitely checking on him, saying, you know, this is what you get. You know, definitely not checking on him, but to a degree, you know, coming by and being like, yeah, this is what you get, Brad. In the corner, we have Bailey, and I think that she is going to win the women's money in the bank briefcase guys i think that it would fit her character very well you know we need some fiery passion from bailey and i think this would be a great way to do that than um, winning this match up here and capturing that money in the bank briefcase i definitely don't want alexa bliss or carmella or any of them to win we need somebody new man give it to bailey give her a good push here and this is a great way to thrust her into that main event scene and give her a little push and if we come all the way across guys you will see that my boy kevin owens is standing over kofi kingston he i guess you could say he lost his championship match and then he took it out. Maybe Xavier Woods cost him or something or he feels that he got cheated and he attacks Kofi Kingston in the back. In the backstage puts Xavier Woods through the table and attacks Kofi and he's standing over him with that WWE championship. I for one on Sunday really want to see Kevin Owens win the championship. I love Kevin Owens so much and I'd love to see my boy rocking the WWE championship for the first time. 
So I'm going to go with Kevin Owens. I hope he wins. And I guess if not, then this is what's going to happen to Kofi and Xavier. But maybe we'll see a Big E return or something on Sunday. I know that he's supposed to be out um, a few more weeks slash uh, possibly another month or so. But we'll have to see, you know, anything's possible in WWE. Even if he doesn't wrestle, he could show up and, you know, make some noise or, you know, play some support for Kofi. But anyways, here's my boy standing over Kofi, and I really like this shot right here. And to finish off our backstage portion of the setup, guys, we have Seth freaking Rollins and Becky Lynch back here. The rumors were true that they are, in fact, dating, and I don't really care that much, but I thought it'd be a cool little Easter egg to plug in here. You got the Universal Champion and the Raw Women's Champion, both two of my favorites in the entire world right now, so I think that's a pretty cool shot. You got them right there, a perfect representation of both. Getting interviewed backstage after both of them retain their championships. Becky did not retain her SmackDown Live championship, but she did retain the Raw one, so this is just a little setup there. Love the way that set looks, guys. That WrestleMania 35 custom with the shirt and the Universal title and the Top Talents head scan. My God. But to finish off our backstage segment, we have Alexa Bliss back here, and she is crossing her arms Huffing and puffing because she did not win the Money in the Bank contract. Bailey did, so she's pissed off. She's going to get interviewed by Corey Graves. So she is uh, taking it out here, just sort of pouting, sort of pouting behind Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins. So that is it for the backstage portion of this Money in the Bank WWE action figure setup, guys. Now we're going to go to the arena and check out all the setup in there. We got the Money in the Bank ladder match going on, and I believe it is wrapping up. So let's go in there and take a look at the rest of this WWE figure setup. All right, guys, now we're going to work on the arena portion of the Money in the Bank WWE action figure set. If you guys can see the destruction all around the ring, I guess we can start over here. First of all, Braun Strowman, guys, you know that Sami Zayn did replace Braun Strowman in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Braun Strowman, I don't think, is going to be too happy with that. So at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, I think that Sami Zayn is going to get buried and taken out of the matchup. And here he is buried under a bunch of broken ladders. So Braun Strowman took care of him. Not going to allow him to win Money in the Bank, guys. You know, that's Braun Strowman's spot. That's how he feels about it, so he took out Sami Zayn. We come to the middle, guys. You will see Mustafa Ali face down on this ladder. I think he got RKO'd by Randy Orton, and the damage left Randy Orton incapacitated too long for the winner to climb the ladder and retrieve the briefcase. At the same time, Ricochet was doing battle with the person who ended up winning the Money in the Bank briefcase, so all these three took each other out, and the winner of the Money in the Bank, guys, is Finjamin Balor, my boy Finn Balor, climbing the ladder, retrieving the Money in the Bank briefcase, and looking fantastic while doing Doing so. so I know this isn't going to happen, and I, I really don't believe this is going to happen, but I thought it'd be cool for the setup. Why not give it to Finn Balor? You know, you might as well because, you know, this is fantasy. This is action figures. We can, we can do what we want here. So I have Finn Balor winning the Money in the Bank briefcase here at the top, grasping it off of that little clasp. And if we come to the right of the screen, you'll see that Trash Corbin got put through a ladder here. I'm saying that he got coup de gras. Maybe Finn Balor climbed up on the turnbuckle there, hit a coup de gras through Trash Corbin and took him out of the matchup. He looks like terror. He looks terrible, guys. Just look at him. Total piece of trash just laying through the ladder. And then the last bit of business that we have, guys, for the setup is seeing Almas and Drew McIntyre coming, crashing through these two tables set up to the outside. What I have here is the ladder must have tumped over. Maybe Ricochet tumped it over. And uh, these three, maybe Finn Balor, seeing Almas and Drew McIntyre were doing battle at the top of the ladder. Ricochet came in, knocked over the ladder, put these two through. And then before he could take out Finn Balor here in the, in the ring, Ricochet couldn't take out Finn Balor fast enough. And Finn Balor did retrieve the Money in the Bank briefcase and won it. So that is it for my WWE action figure set up Money in the Bank edition, guys. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, comment down below. Also, check out my Money in the Bank 2019 predictions video that went up yesterday. Very interesting stuff. We cover all the matches, break it all down. I tell you guys what I think is going to happen at the show, and I would really appreciate it. But thank you guys so much for watching. That is going to do it for this setup. Comment down below your favorite part of it. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you, Benjamin Ballard.